Yo, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be doing a double debut. Before we take a look at the two cards though, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on and in the comment section below, let me know what you thought about the new content drop today, all right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the two cards we'll be debuting. First up, we got the new Chase card. Uh, Ian Happ, primary center field with second base, third base, left field and right field secondaries. 108 contact versus right, 115 power. And then 90 contact versus left with 77 power. So a bit of a drop versus uh, contact and power versus lefties, but could still hold his own on top of the fact he is a switch hitter. Uh, 78 vision, so no bucks and boost. 93 clutch. And then he's going to have 74 fielding, 71 arm, 76 reaction with 61 speed. For me, best position for him is going to be either second base or third base. Uh, second base preferably for me. And that's where we're going to play him at. Now, with that being said, He's not going to have any any boost because he has 61 speed. So no Arenado boost for him, unfortunately. But, you know, switch hitter, good attributes. He should still do the damn thing. Now, if we use him enough, got him to P5, he'd be 113, 118 versus right, 95, 82 versus left, and then 98 clutch. So the clutch does fall off, uh, you know, contact-wise versus righties, but it is a little bit better against uh, than le the lefties one. And then the fielding will go up to 79, so still silver defense. Uh, gonna have 76 arm with 81 reaction and 66 speed so again for me best position for him is either second base or third base i'm gonna play him at second let's see if he any quirks road warrior night player breaking ball hitter bad ball hitter fighter so some decent quirks for sure especially the bad ball hitter and breaking ball hitter and that's ian happ we're gonna go ahead and hit him third in the order next guy we're debuting is the new collection at 200 cards they added al lighter hyper series and he looks amazing. 103 stamina, 108 hit per nine, 102 K per nine, 116 clutch. Uh, only thing he looks bad is the walks per nine is 58 and the control 77. So not very good there. Does have 99 break on his pitches. Sinker cutter combo as always. Cutter ball slider and then four seam as his fifth pitch. No outlier though. Uh, pitch control 88 on the sinker, 81 on the cutter. Curveball's at 74, sliders at 68, that's ugly. 74 on the four seam again. Doesn't have very good control. Break, though, has some nice break, man. 95 sinker, 97 cutter. Curveball and slider both at 99 and the four seam at 81. Can't wait to have outlighter uh, going forward in the rotation, though, for sure. So let's quit talking and get into the gameplay. All right, post could be Poppy Corn. He's got Mike Soroka on the bump, so we get to face a righty. That's good. Uh, as we know, Ian Happ is a very good against righties. Against lefties, he's not terrible, but not what you would want to see, in my opinion. But nonetheless, let's get after it. All right, one up, one down. He's out. That's a ball. Oh, that was almost strike three. We got him chasing. One, uh, two down, two up, two down. Oh, he just missed it. We'll take it, though. All right, good inning. Three up, three down for Mr. Lighter. Let's go hit the baseball, man. Let's go get on base for Mr. Ian Clut. Or Ian Clutch. For Ian Happ. Sinker, slider, cutter. All right, I haven't really, I haven't faced a rope yet. Aye. All right, we hit that way too early. Gosh, damn it, dude. One ball, one strike. There's Babe. Let's go, baby. One nothing lead. I'd rather face or have somebody not on base or not in score position for the Ian Happ so he gets the full 108 contact. Ian Happ the opposite way. His first at bat. Two nothing lead. Let's go. Is he making, is he going to make an argument to be in the lineup? Oh my, back to back to back, three in a row. That was perfect, perfect though, absolutely crushed. How far was that? 476. Keep her cooking. Yes, sir. Back to back perfects. Mike Piazza is just that guy. He's just so good. Four nothing. Oh my, that's three perfects in a row? Five nothing? Are we starting to cook with gas? That's also five bombs in a row, by the way. And the homer streak, the base hit streak, all the streaks get killed right there on a line out to the third baseman. That's unfortunate, that was a great swing. Okay, another line out, nice, all right, so Note it to self, get under the ball, because if you don't, it's going to be a line out. All right, we score five runs on the five straight bombs. 
You just I, love to see it taking the five I nothing lead right away. That's gonna get through. Oh, 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 oh. 84 off the bat, mind you. I hit two seeds right at somebody to end the inning, but he hits one 80. I mean, that's just the way this game goes. It, you know. All right, one down. Should I mean? I want to say should be two, but you know how this game goes. You know. Oh. So his hardest hit ball the inning is a line out. Yep. I mean, it's just the, like I don't get this game. I don't. Pop them up. Jam them up on the sinker. Good pitch. All right, we get out of the inning. One hit allowed. No runs, though. I believe we have 9 1 2 coming up, if I'm not mistaken. We do. Arenado. Perfect, perfect. The opposite way. We take a 6 0 lead. Good swing. Unfortunately, it is right at the shortstop. Got him. I mean, I guess it wasn't right at him. It was a ground ball that he had to go back in, but didn't find the hole. No take. All one. Seven runs on seven solo shots. That's also our fifth perfect bomb of the game. Seven nothing. And our sixth uh, perfect swing overall. We just had to line out on one of them. Hey, Ian Happ is two for two on the day. Good swing. That's our first base hit overall. We had seven hits prior to that and seven bombs. That's outside. All right, that's kind of a glitchy release from the uh, stretch that Soroka has. Nope, outside. Your dong! His second bomb of the game, nine nothing lead. Ah, jam me up. Shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't have happened, folks. That was a... Corey Seager with the second bomb of the game. 10 nothing. Let's go, baby. Is that another one? Yes, sir. Our eighth perfect... No, seven. Eighth? I don't know what number perfect swing of the game, but it's 11 nothing. No, I ruined it by swinging at a dumb oh okay. pitch. I mean, it was a great pitch on his end. Throwing a change up perfectly, dotted low and away. Just a terrible swing on my end to swing at that. All right, one pitch, one out. You'd love to see it. You'd just love to see it. Ah, great pitch, man. All right, it is what it is. I don't know if it's a double play because he has 99 speed and we took forever to throw That's the ball, out. like I said. Safe. But at least we get the force out at second. Oh. And that's going to get down the line. I mean, he's had three hits in the 80, like 80. I think it was 84 the first one, 86. His J.D. Davis won the 82. That's crazy to me. Three. Oh, my. Get clinical with the dotting there. Arenado with another perfect swing. Oh, that's very far. It hit off the barbecue uh, stand over there. 492. All right, come on, Trout. We got to get you going. You haven't gotten a hit yet. Base hit. There we go. There's Trouty. Oh, that's going to go foul, isn't it? Oh, perfect, perfect foul. Come on, game. It doesn't matter though. Babe Ruth said, I don't care. I'm gonna hit it out anyway. His third bomb of the game. Third or 14 nothing. Have a big inning here. No, okay. I was late on that. Luckily we got way under it and fouled it off. Great pitch. Perfectly spotted on the black. Out. I didn't hit it bad, I just hit it right at somebody. 96 off the bat, that's not that's pretty good exit velo. And that's going to be a line out. Okay. I wanted a big inning. All right. Through the hole. Out of boy Piazza. Out of boy. Out of boy. Yes, sir. That got down. Thank you. Oh, that's right, Adam. I mean, is that a bad swing again? Right on it as well. Just unfortunately rolled it over. I guess we rolled it over to the shortstop. All right, we get three more runs that in to take a 14 and nothing lead into the top of the four. Let's close it out here. All right, one up, one down. 
You just love to see it. Alright, that's a good pitch. Two down. And we're gonna win the ball game 14 and nothing oh. in three. Well, technically we hit only hit for three innings, but four innings of three and a half innings of play, I should say. We didn't get to hit in the fourth, of course. We went off absolutely crazy in that first inning, hitting five straight bombs. Three of them perfect. The last three were all perfect in a row. Uh, we unfortunately ended up getting two outs at the end where, where there was a line out and then a perfect, perfect out to the second baseman. And we ended up scoring six in the second and three in the third. Also had hard outs as well that uh, inning. Nonetheless, though, again, we win it 14 and nothing. Babe Ruth steals the show three for three with three bombs, four RBI in the game. Uh, Ian Happ has himself a debut, though. He was two for three in it with a single and a bomb in his first at bat. You'd love to see it. And then Al Leiter also has himself a debut. Four innings, three hits, only one K. You know it's very hard to K people, especially, you know, the lower the difficulty. This is Hall of Fame new season. So uh, maybe on Legend he's going to get some more Ks. But as long as he does that, he holds guys, doesn't give up hits like that, and uh, does his damn thing like I know he can, um, he's definitely going to be a big part to the rotation. But yeah, in order to get the outlighter, you must collect 200 cards. They just added him today as part of the uh, set one collections or season one, whatever you want to call it. Oh, you need 200 cards again. If you want to make sure you have stubs, hit me up on Twitter uh, for more information on my lessons. I will help you in my lessons, of course. If you choose to do it with me, I will help you teach you exactly what I do in order to always have stubs, all right? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on, leave a like on the video, and in the comment section below, let me know how far you are in the set one collection, all right? Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.